Hello, welcome to my tour of the Hawks Built by Rex Resort in Antigua. I came here with my mum as a 40th birthday present, which was rather spectacular. We stayed in a beach club room on the Royal Palm Beach. They were the rooms that offered single beds, so I didn't have to share a bed with my mum. So, we have just left the room. I forgot to do a video of the room, but further along the video, there are the pictures I took of the room inside. So this is the walk. Now, I would strongly recommend against this resort if you are not fit or able to walk very far, because as you will see, there are lots of steps to get anywhere. You cannot go nowhere from the resort without a walk or steps. So now we are heading up to the reception and the main dining room area, which you have your breakfast and evening meals. Up ahead of you now is the old sugar mill, which has been converted into a gift shop that sells everything, a bit of all sorts, as well as a gift for your holiday. Look at the view. Now there are the Royal Palm Beach Club rooms on an amazing beach. The sea was a bit rough at that side, so I would not recommend it for swimming. There is the gift shop. And as you come round the corner, you can see the main dining room area. And to the left is the bandstand, just coming into view now, where they have the entertainment on an evening. And the right is the bar. The only complaint is the bar was a bit slow, but um, it didn't matter. We're on holiday. I've paused the video a bit because I um, forgot to do pictures any further. I, um, I don't know why, but you get a gist and there are pictures of the, that area available on the internet for you to see. So now we are walking around again this is just from the bottom of the steps that's another beach club room just there on the royal palm beach and we are walking around to the other restaurant um, which you will see very soon the resort is due to be closing um, to have a full refurb i'm not going to lie bits of it did need it it needed a bit of money spent on and a bit of a tidy up in places but I hope that it doesn't lose the character of the resort. While we were there, just to your right, they had opened up another restaurant to try to cope. You did have to book it though. We didn't go, but we stayed with some people just next door to us that said they did go and they went regularly afterwards. A few teething problems, but they did enjoy it. And amazing views from that restaurant. So now on the right is the beach that um, is safer for swimming and the snorkeling was good too as you can see from one of my other videos. So as you also will see it was a good long walk to get anywhere. Um, if you look at the right you can see the little jetty um, where if you book the catamount trip that was offered from the resort which again is on another one of our videos um, it was a good trip. That is where the little boat will pick you up from. But as you walk around, you will see there are just little things on the resort that just need tidying up, like that hut just to the side that was all dropping to bits. It was a bit run down, but you've got to remember, it's a three-star hotel, a three-star resort, not a five-star. We found it very comfy, very friendly, you didn't feel out of place, you didn't feel like you had to be someone you weren't. You could just be yourself and it was really nice. The staff were friendly and you got everything you wanted. So if you look on the left, you can just see the superior sea view rooms, which are a two-story block. Now we are coming up to the dinner, um, dinner time eating area where you can get table service with a small range on the menu 
um, some sandwiches and other bits but there is also a grill where you can get burgers, fish, chicken and help yourself to some bits and bobs, some lettuce and there was always something in like a hot plate where you could just get but just be aware it was very very slow very slow service but again we were not bothered we were on holiday all in all the food was really nice and there was always something we could find to eat so no complaints there you might struggle if you had some allergies or were a vegetarian you maybe would complain then but luckily me and my mum aren't so this is where you go and you can sit and there are people playing games and you can have your meal and a drink just to the left is the bar and straight ahead now is the grill and up there's my mum you can just see the bar in the background and the little swimming pool little swimming pool straight in front of there now is where you take your towels to exchange you can exchange your towels whenever you wish right so it's a bit jumpy this video but you could just see the honeymoon cove rooms there the beach club honeymoon rooms now me and my mom are having a walk to the clothing optional beach which i will state we did keep our clothes on because that would be rather awkward so now um there is the hawksbill rock where the resort gets its name from and we are walking on the beach heading to the end of the eden beach which at some point you can tell has been rather spectacular um, it had, has been set up nice at some point but like the rest of the resort it is run down and it is tired. The observant may have known it did say no pictures but we came first thing in the morning so I could do a video and not have to worry about people with no clothes on. I believe it is 50-50 with people with clothes on and without. There's the Hawksbill Rock again. It is quite impressive that rock. So now we are coming onto the Honeymoon Cove. You will see it briefly and only briefly. There it is. But there are actually videos available on YouTube for the, for the Honeymoon Cove. Now to the left are the beachfront room and garden bungalows. These are bungalows. Some don't have air conditioning, some do. So just beware which one you book, please, because I imagine it'd be quite unpleasant. Now this is our room, as you will see, it is very clean, very pleasant, it is clean every day. The beds were also made every day and there were towels available to be changed if you wished. We did have to chase for a few extra though. Now as you look, there is the view from the bungalow with the patio. There was two sunbeds always available at the room. However, when we first arrived, someone had taken them, so we had to get them back. The furniture, I would say, was shabby chic. In fact, the room was shabby chic. It had been painted and bits were coming off. This is what I mean by it just needs a touch up. The door didn't quite fit right. And the bathroom was very pleasant with a bath and a shower and twin sinks, a toilet, obviously, and a, shall we call it a foot wash? Um, but no, it's very good, very clean and no complaints at all with the whole resort like i said before remember this is a three star resort and maybe when they've refurbished it might be upgraded but as for the beaches they blew my mind the beaches more than made up for anything else they were spectacular so this is our little balcony from the room we stayed at and look at that it was amazing just don't stay out on the night we did get bitten by mosquitoes and then had to put um, mosquito repellent on. Now this is the beach just in front of the room and there is the restaurant I said about that you could book. And yes, you can see it is just a dream. Look at that. Another just a slight, slight complaint is just further down in the picture right at the end. They allow jet skis and the um, locals to come. Now it wasn't too bad, but I imagine if you're not used or just relaxed, relaxing and expected no one around, you might be a bit disappointed with that. Now look, typical Caribbean, a heavy shower coming over. And as you see, the sea is very choppy at this side, but it was unusually choppy, so the locals said. 
very rough and not the best snorkeling so I was lucky to get the video I got. Um, we also had a bit of a drive around the island which was worth doing, we hired a car, um, the lady came to the resort and we took the car from the resort, again would recommend it and I have done a video of it, um, so if you want to check that out on my channel please do. So all in all, any questions, any queries, please feel free to comment and our message and I will try to reply to you. This video was filmed at the start of February 2023. Just for your reference, there was plenty of sun, a bit of a wind to keep the temperatures down and the weather was lovely. So that's it for the video. Like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. I hope it just gave you a small insight into the resort. Thank you. Just one last thing. Um, sorry about the amount of times I say um. It's where my brain is trying to think of what to say next. Um, thank you for watching.